many countries in South America have signed onto the Belt and Road. Is Colombia interested in signing up to this initiative? Last year, when uh, President Duque came uh, in, the, in the conversations with President Xi, uh, they came to an idea of having a Colombia-China initiative in which we will organize all the potential uh, cooperation ideas and it could, it, this Colombia-China uh, initiative would be framed within Belt and Road Initiative. So what we are doing right now is having internal conversation between China and Colombia and its, their governments to move forward in the establishing of this china Colombia initiative once again within the framework of, of uh, Belt and Road. So we see it with very positive eyes. We haven't signed yet, but we are moving forward to establishing, analyzing and starting it and if things go okay, it could be signed in the near future. So, very probably that Colombia will join it's the probably, Belt and Road. It's probably, yeah, initiative. it's very probably. Uh, it, it has to go along with this whole idea of both the initiative between the two countries. But yes, we are moving towards that. What's something surprising that Colombia has that most people don't know about? Colombia is one country, but you may say it's four or five countries at the same time because we have a large diversity of areas, of regions. Since we are, are close by the equator in the south, so we are in the tropical zone, but with the difference that we have a lot of mountains, so the, ge the geography and the areas are very, very diverse. We, we are probably one of the most diverse in terms of uh, fauna and flora in the world. Where are you from, Colombia? I am from Medellin. So Medellin is the second largest city. We call it in Colombia like the city of the eternal spring. Similar to what they call here Kunmin, I understand, in China. Time magazine uh, mentioned about your hometown. How do I pronounce it? Medellin. Medellin. Right. Medellin. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you have the same confusion with Colombia, Colombia, right? Right. That, 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 that's right, yeah. Unfortunately, because the term in English for different uh, states or provinces in the United States or uh, Canada, they call it Colombia, mm -hmm. then our name is Colombia. So, so it comes from, uh, from Christopher Columbus, uh, so it, it was uh, adapted to like the land that came from Columbus, but in Spanish it's Colombia. So our country is Colombia with O. <laughs> yeah. So Medellin yes. was mentioned in the Time magazine back in the 90s actually, as the most dangerous city on earth. My question will be, how did the city manage to have such an amazing outcome? It was a big turnaround, and it is true, that's part of our history. We had very difficult times in the 80s, uh, at, up until the late 80s and beginning of the 90s. We have some difficulties, very large difficulties with violence, and uh, uh, at the time the, the narco traffic was heavy in the, in the region. So now the, the whole society in the city decided to fight against that, and it was a mixture of uh, government plus business, the business community, plus all the universities, the academia, uh, civil society in general. So we, we all work together towards improving the city, investing in the new, in the, in the more poor areas, which is very important. Normally those areas were the ones that were having the most violence. So the, the city decided to really focus on investing more in that areas, reducing poverty, giving them opportunities. What would you say that are the challenges that probably the government is facing uh, in the future. We have to invest a lot in, in infrastructure. Uh, we still lack uh, some of the means of a very good, of having good uh, transportation infrastructure in the country. So I think that's part of what we are going to do in the near future too. Invest in education, invest in infrastructure, in new technologies, uh, those kind of things that help people to really produce more and be more efficient and really overcome poverty. I want to ask about coffee. Let yeah. us know about the Colombian well, coffee and its culture. We proudly say that Colombia's coffee is the best in the world. So that's, that's our, our motto. And, uh, and yes, it's in terms of quantity, of course, first is Brazil, it's a very large producer. And Vietnam it's, has become also a big producer and we are the third. But we always say that in terms of, of quality, ours is the best. Uh, there are two kinds of uh, coffee. Uh, mainly the uh, Robusta and the Arabica. Uh, ours is mostly Arabica. And it is grown in, a very, in some very special regions on the mountains, 
Most of the people who grow coffee work in very small uh, farms and they work by themselves. They pick all, most of the coffee beans are picked, hand-picked by the people and really processed very, very carefully. It's Colombia and China recently celebrated 40 years anniversary of their diplomatic relations. What's been the highlights of the relationship between the two countries? We started relations in uh, February 7th, uh, 1980. It's been very, a very good political relation during the last 40 years. We have had uh, multiple visits from our presidents to, to China. Uh, the last one being the President Duque, the current president, uh, he came last year. It was a very successful visit. We had uh, four days here, two in Shanghai, two in Beijing. The last day, the most important visit and uh, meeting uh, was with President Xi Jinping. Uh, and uh, in that uh, meeting and that visit, we signed a lot of uh, different documents regarding uh, our progress in exchanges, in cooperation. But apart from that, we are trying to expand a lot of Colombian products that may come to China. Nowadays, Colombia, the, our main, main export to China has been during the last year's oil. Apart from that, we sell coffee, of course. <laughs> coffee once again. Uh, we have some flowers. We started to export uh, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, bananas. Uh, we, are, we are emerald producers. As, as coffee, we say Colombia has the best emeralds in the world also. So this is something that is coming to, to China also. One of the other areas um, of interest between the two countries um, is the development of closer people-to-people uh, -people and academic ties. Yes. Uh, do you see the bilateral relationship developing on uh, these fronts? Up until now, I would say we had not very large numbers of students coming from Colombia to China. So my goal, I would, I would say, I would love to have thousands of students from Colombia coming to China in the near future to study, to live here, to learn the language, and also Chinese students to come to Colombia. And I think, especially in terms of language, there's a big opportunity for, of course, Colombian students to come and study Chinese, and then for Chinese students to go to Colombia to study Spanish. What message do you have for young people in Colombia watching you right now, or probably those who are watching you and are thinking about coming to China and also to the young people in China that, that they are watching and they probably are thinking about oh I should travel in Colombia. I, I always always say to my fellow Colombians and young people they definitely should come to see to know China more I think this is a wonderful country and probably when you are far away and you don't receive many news you have only a little stereotype of what China is so when you come here, you see many different things, very interesting things. And to the Chinese uh, people, young people that would like to go to Colombia and Latin America, I will tell them that please don't, don't keep going to those close places where you already know very much. If you go to Southeast Asia, of course, it's very nice, but it's very close from home, very similar, or many of them already have been going to Europe or the US. So now it's time to go to a different place, a new frontier, I would say. And Colombia and Latin America is that region which has a lot of new things to offer, special things to offer. W something special, you know? S I, have sh I have seen here through visiting places like some uh, bars or restaurants uh, of young people, and also in, in the communications they have through WeChat or so, that they are listening to a lot of Latin pop music. Yes, very so, so Latin pop music mm -hmm. uh, nowadays Probably the country that is leading Latin pop music is Colombia. A few years ago, people of course knew uh, Shakira, yeah, but Juanes. yes, but, and Juanes also. Yeah. Nowadays, I, I, I'm sure that many uh, young Chinese ladies know Maluma, for example, yes, yes. or J Balvin. So those are new figures from Colombia that are coming out. They are really showing the style, the rhythm, what we have. Like it's part of the culture. A very happy, festive, festive. Uh, um, environment people would really enjoy going to Colombia and feeling all this. We have a, a, a promotion or a logo which says come to Colombia feel the rhythm. So this rhythm of nice music, pop Latino music would be something very attractive for young Chinese people. There is a saying when Colombian people 
hear music, they have to start dancing. That's, that's definitely, true. that's true. Really? Yes, yes. Are you a good dancer? I try to be a good dancer, yes. <laughs> so everyone dances, right? Most of the people dance and we love to dance. Yeah. And so if, if anyone would go to Colombia and go to different places where there are parties, they'll see people dancing and have a good time through dancing.